Hello and welcome to GMR 410's Mitigation Minutes. We've been discussing logical attacks and in an earlier episode discussed in greater detail how criminals conduct jackpotting attacks and some tips you can use to deter them. Today we are discussing black box attacks, which is similar because it requires breaching of the cabinet. In a black box attack, the suspect accesses the cash dispense cable, bypasses the main board communications, and connects a device directly to the dispenser. The criminal is then able to initiate the dispense command. To deter black box attacks, consider available communications encryption for cash dispensers to ensure that black boxes cannot control dispensers. There are a range of sensor technologies to detect attack, such as vibration sensors to detect cutting or drilling, and heat and smoke sensors to detect melting or other thermal attacks used to access the cabinet. Low-tech solutions include using a physical barrier over holes and vents that are near or in direct line of sight to sensitive components, such as USB ports, communication sockets, card reader electronics, and dispense cables. Also, monitoring the ATM fleet and taking note of unusual patterns in power outages, resets, and communication failures can easily be adapted as part of your defense strategy. ATMs are being targeted all across the United States. From smash and grab to logical attacks, the criminals just are not stopping. We will be talking about physical attacks at ATMs in a future episode. In the meantime, visit gmr4tim.com to learn more about our services and to schedule a complimentary initial consultation with one of our security experts to discuss how we can help solve your security problems today so you can have a secure tomorrow. Thanks for listening and check back soon for more security tips on protecting your assets.